How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the updated NVIDIA optimization. We're going to go over the updated NVIDIA control panel settings. We're going to go over the updated NVIDIA profile inspector settings, and we're going to show you guys how to properly uninstall your graphics card drivers and install the best drivers that are deep loaded without any of the unnecessary things that comes with the regular drivers. And you'll be able to get more FPS and a lot less input delay. So without further ado, let's get started. So before we get started, I need all of you to go to the link in the description and download the nvidia optimization.zip file and this is basically where all of the files that we're going to be using today are going to be located in and all you have to do is just download it from google drive and then once you have it downloaded in your downloads folder you're going to pretty much just right click on it and then you're going to click extract files and you're going to press ok and it's going to ask you for a password the password is zilly dot net all capital and then it'll extract the files just like so now go in the folder go in there and then go to the very first folder where it says uninstall current gpu drivers properly and this is very important what we're going to do is we're going to set the pc to restart into safe mode so we're able to use display driver uninstaller without any hookups and without any issues so what safe mode is is basically just a special boot within your windows where it restarts the pc and then it doesn't load any unneeded drivers it only need loads that need drivers for your computer to normally function so whenever you do that your second monitor is probably going to stop working and the resolution will look all stretched or just native without 240 hertz just make sure you keep that in mind but in order to go to safe mode the easiest way i put a program in here that basically just lets you go to safe mode super super easy all you have to do is double click on bootsafe.exe and then literally just keep it like this and press restart windows now i'm going to show you guys a picture of what it's going to look like whenever you restart your pc it's going to ask you do you want to set the regular boot the next restart press yes on that pop-up screen whenever you restart your pc and then just go back into this folder and then go to ddu and then double click display driver uninstaller.exe and pretty much you're going to pretty much select your graphics card which is going to be gpu and then you're going to select nvidia and then you're going to click clean and restart and then it's going to restart your computer back to normal windows without safe mode and then we can get started with installing our gpu drivers so go back into the nvidia optimization folder you're going to go to number two install deep loaded gpu drivers and then you're going to double click on nv clean install then once you do that you can just pretty much press the next on install the best driver for my hardware and then you can leave the components just like this completely everything else unchecked except the only thing that we need which is the display driver and then you can just press next and then it's going to ask you what installation tweaks do you want just follow what i click so we're going to ch check the first three and then make sure you have display multiplane overlay checked disable ansel check that show expert tweaks check that disable driver telemetry just check that disable nvidia hd audio device sleep timer check that disable hdcp this is only helpful if you don't use geforce experience if you use geforce experience you probably don't want this checked so if you use geforce experience don't check display hdcp but however if you don't just check it It'll It'll lower your input lag a lot and then rebuild digital signature make sure that's checked and then check both of the boxes right under it and then just press next and then you can just wait for it a second press install and it will install the deep loaded gp driver without any of the unnecessary things that we don't need in the graphics card driver now whenever it's done installing the gp driver it might show up with this error it's fine just press ok and then you can close out of nv clean install and then continue with the nvidia control panel settings all right so moving on to number three which is going to be the nvidia control panel settings before we do that we're going to go to our display settings in windows and then scroll down go to advanced display settings and make sure our main monitor is set to the maximum refresh rate so for me it's going to be 144 hertz and then just press keep changes and then go back go to graphic settings and then click change default graphic settings make sure you have hardware accelerated gpu scheduling on and if you're on windows 11 make sure you have optimizations for window game on then you can close out of this right click on your desktop go to nvidia control panel go to home and then go to adjust some image settings with preview click use my preference emphasizing drag this all the way to performance press apply go to manage 3d settings and then make sure everything from image scaling all the way down to anti-aliasing is turned off and then low latency mode set this to on and then open gl rendering gpu to your graphics card power management mode set this to prefer maximum performance preferred refresh rate highest available shader cache size if your drive has a lot of space just set this to unlimited however if you have a 200 
gigabyte SSD or a 500 gigabyte SSD and you don't have enough space left over, just set this to 10 gigabytes or even 100 gigabytes. But for 99% of you, you already have a lot of space. So you can just do unlimited and then press apply. Then scroll down, texture filtering quality, high performance, and then third optimization, set this to on, vertical sync, off. And then you're going to go to configure surround, just set this to your graphics card and then press apply. Go to adjust desktop size and position. If you do not use any stressed resolution, you can set both of your monitors to no scaling. You don't need scaling if you're on native resolution. There's no point of it. So press yes. And then for your second monitor as well, do no scaling and then press yes again. Now go to change resolution and scroll down on both of your monitors. Click use the NVIDIA color settings and make sure your output dynamic range is set to full. Press yes and go to your second monitor and do the same thing. And now if you want to go to adjust desktop color settings, this is just a visual tweak that will just make you see more vibrant colors in game. So you might be able to see enemies way faster. So digital vibrance, you can set this to 75%. That's usually what I use, or you could do 100%. Then you can click on desktop at the top, check enable developer settings, and then click manage GPU performance counters, click allow access to the GPU performance counters to all users, and then press apply and then press yes. And those are pretty much the best NVIDIA control panel settings. You don't have to do much tuning there. Now you can close out of this, go back to our NVIDIA optimization pack folder, go to NVIDIA profile inspector number four, and then just open up NVIDIA profile inspector. And what NVIDIA profile inspector is, it's basically hidden NVIDIA settings that you can't see in a regular NVIDIA control panel. We're not going to do a lot in here. We're just going to do things that actually matter. So scroll down and then you're going to find CUDA force P2 state, set this to off and press apply on the top right. And then you're going to scroll down R bar feature, set this to enabled and then R bar options, set this to 00x1 and then R bar size limit, set this to 0x4 million or whatever this says. And then press apply changes. Now scroll back up and this is very optional, but if you want to get basically potato graphics in most of your games, here's how you could do it. But I recommend just doing this for specific games only. So let's just say, for example, you want to set it only for Fortnite. What you will do is under profiles or search up Fortnite and then click whatever pops up right here. And then you can edit this profile to only apply it whenever Fortnite is detected. So texture filtering, driver controlled LOD bias, set this to on and then texture filtering LOD bias DX. If you set it to plus 375 or greater, your game will look worse and worse, but you might get better input lag and way better FPS depending on your graphics card. So if you could try it plus 0 0.03750 or higher, however, just keep in mind, this will make your game look worse and will make a lot of things bug out in game in terms of textures and mountains. So if you want this, just press apply changes on the top right. And then those are pretty much the gist of the NVIDIA profile settings that actually make the biggest difference. Now let's move back to the, to the NVIDIA optimization pack. So we are going to go to reduce driver latency, which is number five. We're going to click MSI util v3.exe. Before you click it, just right click on it, click run as administrator in order to make sure it doesn't give you an error. And then once you do that, find your graphics card, make sure MSI is checked, and then make sure interrupt priority is set to undefined. And then anything else in here that is set to high or normal or low, set it to undefined and then press apply on the top right. And what MSI mode is, is basically it's going to make sure that driver latency from your graphics card is reduced so you don't have weird spikes within interrupt latency and weird stutters. Close out of that. Now, this is only for desktop PCs only. If you are on a laptop, please do not do this. You will overheat your graphics card and you'll get lower performance if you do this registry tweak. Now, if you're on a desktop and your graphics card is it already overheating, then you can do this tweak. However, if you hop in game and then go to your task manager and then go to performance and go to GPU, if you're getting about 75 degrees or above whenever you're gaming on your GPU, then do not do this tweak. It will just increase your temperatures and make your graphics card run worse. So please do not do this tweak if you are overheating on your graphics card. But if you're not, then all you have to do is search up reg edit on your search bar, open this up, and then you're going to go to H key local machine. And then you're going to go to system. You're going to go to current control set control, and then you're going to go to class. And then you're going to find the one that begins with 4d 36 e 968, which is this going to be this one right here. And then once you do that, just expand this and you will have maybe two or more zero zero ones or zero zero zero. If you do just click on each one and then find whatever the name of the graphics card is. So, and if you have integrated graphics on your desktop PC, this will also happen. So just make sure you pick the right one and you can check this just by looking on the right and then finding NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3090, for example, it shows it right here. And once you've done that, it's pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to right click on the blank space anywhere. 
on the right, click new, D word, 32 bit value. We're going to type disable dynamic P state, just like that. We're going to press enter on that, set it to one and then press OK. And what this is going to do is basically it's going to make sure that our graphics card is running at full power the whole entire time and it won't clock down ever. Now, this might be bad for efficiency wise, but to be honest, this is only for gaming. If your PC is mostly for gaming, then you obviously do not care about efficiency. You just care about the most possible performance. So if you don't want to do this, that's fine. Just if you want to revert it, all you have to do is just right click on it, click delete and then press yes. But this does take a restart for this to apply and again if your graphics card starts overheating after this then probably just don't do it however for most of you it's completely fine to do this it won't really make your graphics card overheat unless you already have overheating problems because what this does is basically just maxes out to the performance state that it always runs at whenever you're gaming but instead of only whenever you're gaming it's going to do it all the time at the maximum p state on your graphics card on default stock settings so this is not technically an overclock but once you've done that, just restart your computer and then hop in game and then enjoy that performance. Now, there is one other thing that is very optional, and this is only for 30 series cards and 40 series cards. What you can enable NVIDIA resizable bar. And what this is basically does, it basically unlocks all of the memory on the graphics card to be used by the game. And what this is going to do for most games is increase your FPS and lower your input delay. But for some games, this does hit back with a slight performance decrease. So for most of you, I'd recommend testing. Thing. However, in my case, my clients, I've always just left it enabled and I've never really had an issue. However, some specific games usually just don't perform as good with resizable bar enabled. So you can test around with that. And to find that, you just restart your PC, go to your BIOS, find resizable bar support, just enable that. And you will also have to enable above 4G decoding in order to make sure that's enabled. But once you've done that and you want to check if it's enabled or not, just go to your desktop, go to the video control panel, go to system information, and then you will find resizable bar as you can see it says no for me because it's disabled in bios now if you enabled it it will say yes right here and then that means it's enabled other than that guys that's gonna be pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed leave a like subscribe and make sure you comment your results i'm really curious to hear about you guys results after this updated guide it's gonna be pretty much it for me guys before we head out if you guys are interested in a pc optimization service where i go way more in depth than all of these videos that i do on youtube then go to the link in the description and book a pc optimization service directly with me i go through your bio settings to overclocking all the way to installing a custom os that is made by me in order to get you the lowest possible input lag on your current system and the maximum fps that you can get on your parts if you're interested go to the link in the description anyways guys that's gonna be pretty much it peace out